Hi, my name is Seth with ACOM. ACOM is a gold level development partner with Sage, and I welcome you to this brief demonstration of our Easy Content Manager software for Sage, which we also call EasyCM. EasyCM is a document management solution that enables you to manage and access documents directly from your Sage user screens. And because EasyCM is web enabled, users can also log in and retrieve or manage documents electronically from anywhere in the world. EasyCM provides enterprise class capabilities such as user-defined workflows for electronic routing or approval of documents, integration with your Sage system, OCR data capture, full text and index-based searches, version control, retention management, document level security, and much more. Now this demonstration is intended to give you just a quick first look at EasyCM rather than cover all of the features and functions in depth. For a more in-depth look at the features and functions of EasyCM, please contact us to schedule a one-on-one -on -one personalized demo of EasyCM. So let's get started. David, our software engineer, will now show you a high-level view of how Easy Content Manager works. Let's begin with the integration we have with Sage ERP ACPAC. What users with an ACPAC are able to do is access Easy Content Manager directly from the ACPAC screens. We can add these integration buttons like you see here to any of the modules within ACPAC. So for example, if I'm a user looking at a particular vendor called Intercontinental Electronics and I'm looking at an invoice number, I have my ACOM access point here and I have a number of options. First one says View Invoice Related Documents. So if I select this, what it does is it opens Easy Content Manager and it shows me three documents for this particular vendor. So I've got a PO, an invoice, and a receiving document that go with this particular invoice number. From here I can also add invoice related documents. So if I add something from here, I can look at my local, my network drives, and I can bring in documents that I want to associate specifically with the invoice number. I can also view the image of the invoice. So when I click it, it opens up and I can see the PDF image of the invoice right on screen. I can view the invoice workflow. So if I want to see the approval process this particular invoice went through or is going through, I can see that from here. Lastly, if I had paper documents I wanted to bring in to associate with this invoice, I could click the Scan Documents button, I could pick my scanner, and I could scan in my paper documents. Again, the integration buttons just give users that are working directly within ACPAC the ability to navigate back to Easy Content Manager without really having to know much about Easy Content Manager. They can go to the document or documents that they want, dependent on the screen they're at. Let's take a closer look at Easy Content Manager. The folder structure that you see here is all user defined, so a company can decide how they want the folders to be laid out, what folders they want to have, and what documents they want to store within Easy Content Manager. It's all user defined, so I can come here and I can say create folder, and I can create folders and subfolders, so it makes sense to me. From here I can also upload documents. This is like the add button I showed you on the ERP screen, where I could bring in my electronic documents into the folders here that I've set up within Easy Content Manager. We have another capture tool called the Import Utility that will also bring in electronic documents. What the Import Utility does is you can tell it to monitor folders on your network so when users are saving or moving those documents in the folders, they automatically get uploaded into Easy Content Manager without the user having to come in and push this upload button. From here I can also scan paper documents. This is our web-based scanning feature, so it requires no special software on my PC. All I would need is a scanner and I could scan paper documents, turn them into PDFs, and store them into the folders here within Easy Content Manager. Another capture tool that comes with the software is this module called FastDoc. FastDoc will also scan in paper documents and it will let you capture documents that are already in electronic format. Some companies use the multifunction copier scanners and we can pick up those documents that are already scanned. Where FastDoc differs from the scan button I just showed you is that this is used when you want to capture large volumes of documents. It has something called forms recognition technology that will capture the index fields directly from the document without the user having to type that in. So I'll take you through an example of capturing inbound invoices and then having those go into Easy Content Manager and start into an approval process. So if I'm a company and I get invoices in from a lot of different vendors, with FastDoc, I don't have to separate out those invoices. I could take them all, put them into a stack, load them into the scanner, hit the scan button. First one would pop open on screen here, and if I'd scanned in, let's say, a batch of 20, they just show up down here as thumbnails. 
Then as a user, I push this button that says Next Task. And what it does is it runs recognition against the invoices that I captured. It does a cleaning, does, does the recognition. And then if it recognizes the invoice like it did with this Intercontinental Electronics invoice, it automatically assigned the document type called invoice, and then it captured the index fields that I had predefined I wanted for that document. So it captured the vendor name and the document number and date and so forth without me having to type that in. It did this using what's called OCR or optical character recognition. So I told FastDoc one time on the front end, hey, for these invoices, I said, okay, the vendor name is in this position, the document number is here. So you map that once, and then every time going forward, when I scan an invoice from Intercontinental Electronics, it's going to get recognized, the data is going to get captured, and I don't have to type it in. So kind of the way this works in the real world as it relates to invoices is you'll take a look at your volume of invoices, and you'll set up a template for each one of those vendors. It just takes a minute or so to do, and then once you do it once, those invoices would get recognized automatically. And as new invoices come into the process, you can write on the fly. If it's not recognized, just do the mapping, save it, and that new invoice would get recognized next time. Now, there are a couple fields here that didn't get captured, like the vendor number and the company number. Those can be pulled automatically from a database lookup if we wanted to, or I'll show you in a minute how we can assign those during the, during the workflow process. So if I'm good here as a user, I push the button a second time. It says export, and what it does, it takes the document, turns it into a PDF, takes the data that we captured, and it's now saved that into Easy Content Manager. So if I go back into Easy Content Manager and I go into my Accounts Payable folder uh, and then into Invoices, I can see the invoice that we just brought in. The icon here indicates that the workflow has started for this invoice to get approved. So the workflows are all user-defined, so you can decide how many steps you have in your workflow process depending on the document. You can also decide who's going to approve at each step. Maybe there's one participant at each step, or maybe there are multiple people. Uh, you can also decide how you want people to be notified that they have something to approve. Some people want emails sent out. You certainly can have automatic emails sent out to people when they have to approve something. Or some people say, no, I'd rather just come in here to a single screen and I can see all the invoices or documents and I need to approve from there. And you certainly can do that as well. So if I'm the first approval person, let's say, and I get an email with a link, when I click the link, it would take me to this screen and I can either approve or reject the invoice. So at this first step here, there are a number of people who are possible to approve. So the first thing you probably want to do is see it. So I could do a quick preview of the invoice, or I could uh, open it up and edit it if I had security to do so. So I can see the document again, and I can see the index fields that we captured. And from here, I could assign uh, an actual vendor number here, and I'll do that. Uh, from this stage, I can also assign general ledger account codes if I so desire. Uh, for those invoices, let's say, that come in that aren't based on outbound POs, you may want to let your managers at each one of the approval steps actually do their own coding. So when you do that from here at each one of the approval steps, when the invoice finally finishes approval, we take that data and we write it back to the ERP database, and we'll create the invoice data entries for you so you don't have to type that stuff in. So also from here, I can do a number of other things before I approve it or reject it. I can make a comment and notify somebody if I had a question. I could add supporting documents if need be. I could digitally sign it. Maybe my company requires a digital signature. I could do that. If I'm happy with it, I'll go ahead and I'll approve it. And then depending on the workflow, you know, maybe that's it. It just had one approval and it's actually been completed. So if I leave the screen here, my invoice moved out of this folder and it moved into this approve folder. The icon here is grayed out just telling me the workflow's been completed and now this invoice is all done. Now, before I leave the invoice, let me talk about this icon. This is what we call the link icon. So what this is telling me is that when this invoice came in, it automatically linked to some other document or documents that were already in Easy Content Manager. So if I click this, I can see that the invoice linked automatically to the purchase order. So what I did was I told Easy Content Manager, hey, for those documents that have the same PO number, I want them to go together. So we can use any of the index fields that we capture to put documents together automatically. So that way maybe I want to link you know, the invoice to the PO, maybe the receiving document or a copy of the check. So that way when I search for any one of those documents, all I have to do is push this button here and I can see all the associated documents regardless of where they're stored in Easy Content Manager because maybe you have invoices in one folder and POs are somewhere else. So this kind of acts like a, a virtual or an electronic stapler that puts those documents together that need to go together. Now, we have documents in here. Let's talk about searching for documents within Easy Content Manager. We can do a number of different searches here. We can do what's called a file content search, which is kind of like a Google search. We can search by file title or name or folder name, all different types of searches. Uh, we can do what's called advanced searches as well, where we're going to search specifically for a document based on the document type, 
than the index fields for that document type. So if I come here and say, okay, what type of document am I looking for? So I can see all the document types that I've set up. And these are all user defined. So maybe I want to search for what's called a personnel action notice, for example. So when I select that, now I can see the index fields that I'd set up for that document type. So I have employee name, date, and division. So now I can search by any one or a combination of these fields to bring back the specific document I want. So let me search for the employee by name, but if I don't know their full name, I'll do a like search and maybe by the date or a range of dates or maybe by the division where I'd actually pre-populated some choices. So now when I search here, what it does, it looks specifically for the letter CL in that document type and it found one document that matched that query and this happens to be a Word document. So now you know, I, could, I could open this or I could email it out or fax it out to somebody who might need to see a copy of it. Let's talk now about version control. So I'm going to go into contracts and I have some subfolders in here and I have one contract in here. The lock that you probably noticed just tells me based on my security profile I can check this document out if I needed to make a change to it. So if I wanted to do something to it I could open it up by checking it out. It would open in its native format, in this case Microsoft Word. I could make changes to it, I could save it, I could check it back in. If I had versioning turned on it would actually create a new version. So if I come in here I can see I've got two different versions of the document so I could open each one of these up to see what it looked like at any given period of time or I could also do comparisons. So I can do this and I can get details so I can see the text across the two documents. Things in red across the two are changed, green are inserted, and blue are deleted. So it's just a quick way that you can look at the differences between documents. Maybe it's a contract or a quote that you're working on and you want to keep multiple versions of it. The last thing I want to show in this brief demonstration is a module we call the Microsoft Outlook add-in. What it allows you to do is save emails directly in from Microsoft Outlook uh, into Easy Content Manager. So if I come here and I highlight an email and I come to my Easy CM button here I can just say save to Easy CM and what it will do is it will save the email along with any attachments directly into Easy Content Manager. You can also assign index fields and values so you can search on the email later on. Thanks David, that was great. Hopefully that gave you a good overview of the enterprise class capabilities of Easy CM. Let's close with just a quick summary of the top seven reasons to choose Easy Content Manager. Number one, seamless integration and communication with your Sage system. This provides you with immediate access to invoices or any other documents directly from your Sage user screens so that you don't need to dig through your file cabinets or search in a second or third program just to find your documents. Number two, full AP automation with accounts payable GL distribution. This allows you to electronically route AP invoices for approval and assign general ledger account numbers to the invoice. Now once workflow is complete, you can write that data back into your Sage application and complete the invoice for data entry automatically. Faster invoice processing and reduced errors. Number three, your files are stored in their native formats. Many document management systems store documents in proprietary or TIFF only formats, which are very costly to merge with other systems, and they don't allow you to search the entire text of your documents, which can make finding them very difficult. EasyCM enables you to easily find, store, and manage your documents in the formats that you need them, including Word, Excel, Images, Engineering Drawings, and many more. Number four, Easy Content Manager makes it easy to create your own workflows and approvals. You simply drag and drop the graphical icons to quickly design the workflows you want. No need to bother your IT department or incur additional service charges. You can also make changes to your workflows on the fly. Number five, web access to all of your documents. Access to Easy Content Manager is completely web enabled, letting you access documents from any location using a web browser. No thick clients involved, no additional cost of software or operating systems to run EasyCM. EasyCM can also be integrated into other applications using available web services and APIs. Number six, full library feature with checkout, check-in, and versioning. Documents can be securely checked out and viewed or changed by creating a newer version and then checked back into the EasyCM repository. Different versions of the document can also be viewed side by side and changes that have been made to documents will be shown in color on the screen. And number seven, EasyCM bundles. No confusing price lists and licensing headaches here. Our straightforward bundles include everything you need, the software, the training, integration with your Sage system, workflows, support, and much more. 
Thanks for taking the time to view this brief demonstration of our Easy Content Manager solution for Sage. As I mentioned before, we didn't have time to show you all of the features and functions of EasyCM in this short demo. But for a more in-depth look at Easy Content Manager for Sage, just contact us to schedule a one-on-one -on -one personalized demo and we'll show you all the different areas of interest to you. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.